be learning a little bit about peak distance and tag. Hope you enjoy. Alright guys, so what we are looking right now is what we call the DST triangle. We will be using the DST triangle to calculate the distance, speed and time. For example, if the question is asking how far, that means we are going to look at distance, that means we will cover the distance. Or if the question is asking how fast, then that means we will be looking at the speed, that means we will cover up the speed. So if we cover up the speed, we'll see what we have left. And if the question is asking for how long, that means the duration. So we will be covering up the time, which is T, and then we'll solve for the remaining. For example, now, if we take a look at the next question here, what I'll be doing here is we'll be solving some questions according to the DST triangle. Now, if we take a look at this question here, it's saying a car covers a distance of 260 kilometers in two and a half hours. Calculate the average speed of the car in kilometer per hour. So the question is asking to calculate the average speed. So that means what we'll do is we will cover up the speed. So if we cover up the speed, what we'll have remaining is distance over time. If we cover up the speed, we have distance over time. So let's write down what we know from the question. The distance we know is 260 kilometers and the time is two and a half hours. So in order to calculate the speed, so what we do is we substitute the distance and the time. Distance is 260 over 2.5. Now, if you use the help of a calculator, we get 260 divided by 2.5 would give us 104 kilometer per hour. Now the next question, what we'll be talking about is something different. So if we read the question, we would have a car is traveling at a constant speed of 65 kilometer per hour. How many kilometers will the car cover? if it keeps the speed for the next two and a half hours. So two hours, 30 minutes is two and a half hours. So the question is asking how many kilometers will the car cover? That means we're looking at distance. So that means we will cover the distance and we'll write the formula. So D is equal to S times T. Now let's write down what we know from the question. The speed S is going at 65 kilometer per hour and the time is two and a half hours two hour 30 minutes will be two and a half hours so the distance would be 65 multiplied by 2.5 and if we calculate it using the calculator 65 times 2.5 would give us 162.5 kilometers now the next question what we'll be looking at will be something different now let's say how long will it take mr sa to jog to jog a distance of 15 kilometers if mr sa jogs at a steady speed of six kilometers per hour now it's asking how long it will take how long means the duration that means the time so we'll cover up the t and then we'll write the formula so T is equal to distance over speed. Now let's write down what we know from the question. The distance we know is 15 kilometers. And we know that Mr. Sa is going at a speed of 6 kilometer per hour. In this case, the time would be 15 over 6 would give us 2.5 hours. Alright guys, hope this video helped you out. See you next time.